Well, someone has to stand up to him. And what do you suggest? How about if all of us went up there and asked him very polite? Yeah, I can see it now. All of us going up there and saying in our sweet little voices, Mrs. Man, may we have seconds? <laughs> <laughs>
Exacto. Sergeant, I can't believe they just ran away and left Arm to defend myself. There was nothing I could do. The book still was yelling and bleeding all around. I don't want to hear about it. Do you guys have much trouble in prison? Sure. How are we in trouble? All Arthur has to do is talk to the police. What can you tell them? He knows nothing. You stupid boy. Not only can Arthur tell them what you were doing, but he can also lead them here to the house. All of them wouldn't do such a thing. Did you tell him to stay away from the fire through his car? No, what? No, they stand to the us. We're in trouble. And you got the boy? He's still living with Mr. Brown on the night. He's been in the coma for the past 10 days. He just woke up this morning. I don't get it. Why don't we just break into Mr. Brown's house and take the kid? You can't do that, Bill, without possibly set more so what do you suggest, Nancy? He's got to try to get to this house one of these days. And when he does, I'll be there. You best keep a close watch on him, Nancy. I'll give him three days. If I don't see hiding more hair than the kids, I'm going to break into Mr. Brownell's house and take him. I knew it. I knew it. That boy is nothing but trouble.
day where he's been living. He said that he ran away from the Undertaker. Where in London, where in London was he living? I don't know. Maybe he just arrived in London the same day as the incident. I doubt it.
wandering off again. Right? Don't just stand around with your mouth hanging open. Get to bed. Not so fast, lover. Your bed is this way. Please, sir, let me go. And have the rack of sex upon me, not on your life. Now off to bed. Tomorrow's a working day. Don't worry, Oliver. I'll be around to help you. Well, thanks, Nancy. Why do you hang around with sights? You'll understand when you're older. Now close your eyes and rest. Nancy, can you sing us a song for us to sleep? Ooh, sing my favorite. And what is that? Please show these kind people to the door. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, Mr. Gruen, engraved in the rocket is the name Agnes. My brother's daughter was named Agnes. She's the young, she's the young woman in the portrait. The pieces are all starting to fit together for the puzzle. Arthur's my granddad. I know it now.